Number 17 says calculate the angular momentum of Earth that arises from its spinning motion on its axis, treating Earth as a uniform solid sphere. And B says calculate the angular momentum of Earth that arises from its orbital motion about the Sun, treating Earth as a point particle. So the first thing we have to do is the angular momentum is equal to the, the, the moment of inertia times the angular speed. And we can say that the moment of inertia is defined as some constant k times the mass times the radius squared. And we need to uh, say that the angular speed of Earth is one revolution per day, uh, which is going to be, uh, we, we need to turn days into seconds and revolutions into radians. So we would multiply this by um, 2 pi radians divided by one revolution uh, that will convert to radians and then we need to times this by one day over 86,400 seconds and so days will cancel out and revolutions will cancel out and so we want to know that the angular speed is equal to uh, 7.2722 times 10 to the negative fifth now the radius of earth um, which we need to know in order to find r squared, the radius of Earth is equal to 6,371 uh, 6, kilometers. 6,371 6, kilometers. We've got to turn that into meters, so we've got to multiply that by a thousand, and so it's 6,371,000 meters for the radius. We've got to we got to square that value to get r squared. And from the last chapter, we we learned uh, when we were studying gravity that the mass of the Earth is roughly 5.972 times 10 to the 24th power uh, kilograms. So all we got to do is plug in all of our values. Uh, for k as a sphere is 2 fifths. So 2 fifths times the mass of the Earth, which is uh, 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. 5.972 times 10 to the 24th r squared, which we're going to say is uh, 6,371,000, so 6,371,000 squared, and then the angular momentum, which we said was, uh, it was 7.272 times 10 to the negative fifth, so uh, 7.272 times 10 to the negative fifth. Plug all that in your calculator you should get the angular momentum from Earth spinning is equal to 7.0509 times 10 to the 33rd power. And then part B says calculate the angular momentum of Earth as it arises from the orbital motion about the Sun. And so there's a couple things that are going to change. So we still have a, a mass that's equal to 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. We, uh, we're, the thing is, our our k value is going to change first of all because we're talking about a a point particle. A point particle is no longer a sphere. We're not talking about something that's eight billion times larger than the sun rotating in a circle. We'll ta we're talking about something on the outer edge of the sun, just uh, just a little dot. And so we can we can say that k is equal to one, and the radius of the orbit. The radius of the orbit is about 150, 150 million kilometer, or yeah, 150 million kilometers, or 150 billion uh, meters. And just remember, when you find r squared, you got to take that number squared. Now, the last thing was the angular speed is one revolution, one revolution per year. So we can times that by two pi over one revolution to cancel out the revolutions and multiply that by one year over and the so there's there's uh twenty there's three hundred and sixty five days in a year times twenty four hours in a day times sixty minutes in an hour times sixty seconds in a minute. So we got three uh uh let's see three one five three six zero 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 so that is thirty one million seconds and so the years will cancel out and the revolutions will cancel out we'll be left with 
we'll be left with two pi over thirty one million five hundred and uh, five hundred and thirty six thousand seconds uh, radians so oh, that would be radians per second or if you want to simplify that it's roughly one point nine nine times ten to the negative seventh so we can plug in all of our values for uh, so k equals one so we don't even have to put anything for that we put in our mass and our radius squared so the mass times radius squared is going to be um, is going to be 1.3437 times times 10 to the 47th, and then we got to multiply this times the angular speed. The angular speed was uh, 1.99 times 10 to the negative seventh. So you plug that in, and you get that the moment the the mo angular momentum is, of the Earth orbiting the Sun is 2.673. Uh, we'll add one more. 2.6739 times 10 to the to the 40th.